Big thanks to Bernhard for sponsoring this episode. Can you smoke a burger on a pellet smoker? Let's find out. Whoa. It's been a long time that we had a burger on this show. I want to change that. You know why? Well, mainly, I just really want to cook a burger. There's nothing complicated about it. I just want to eat a burger. But I want to do it in a different way. I want to do it with that. The Bernhardt smoker is a pellet smoker. It's using wooden pellets as a fuel. It creates heat and at the same time it creates smoke. It's absolutely killing it at making brisket, ribs, beef ribs and all those beautiful low and slow recipes. But can it make a burger? I want to find out. And there's only one way. You guessed it. Yeah, yeah, I I'm, I'm going to cook one. But I also want to find out if this burger is actually better than the way I prefer it. Because I prefer smash burger. I prefer my burgers grilled, smashed, a lot of texture, a lot of heat, a lot of flames. And then just slam dunked on that bun. And then you have a beautiful burger. That's, that's how I prefer it. Can it compete with that? I don't know. For this burger I selected an Uruguay chuck steak. It's grain fed. It has a beautiful marbling. It just looks all around beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it has enough fat content. It has a dark color. It has beautiful intermuscular fat. And it's all around an amazing kick-ass chuck. We'll start by slicing the chuck into steaks. From there on, I can easily spot how much fat it contains because we need to separate it. Now I'm gonna cut it into blocks and try to separate the fat from the meat. Now I can easily get that 20% fat ratio because that's a golden rule in ground beef for burgers. 20% fat, 80% meat. I'm slicing it into tiny blocks so it will easily feed my meat grinder. Now you end up with a big pile of meat and a big pile of fat. And for every pile of meat that I'm going to push in my meat grinder, I'm adding a little bit of fat. Now you end up with beautiful ground beef. It's time for making burgers. Lay down some baking paper and start making meatballs. I prefer it this way because I can easily do my two balls in the hand test. So you can determine if all the patties have around the same size. Now I'm going to start shaping my patties. Push it down with your hand and with the other hand, push it around the corners. This way you get that perfect burger shape. It takes a little bit of practice, but in the end it's all worth it. So stop making those weird burgers with a weird shape. Now that your burger patties are all done, it's time to fire up the burn heart. I set the smoker for a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. It's ready to put the burger on the grill. I'm trying to put it gently on the grill grate. Just beautiful. Excellent. Perfection. Smoky burgers. Now I'm closing the lid and let it smoke. Of course you want to add some salt and pepper. But it was too busy making this beautiful mayonnaise. This is one whole knob of garlic. And it has been smoked and roasted for one hour on a low temperature. Now take one cup of mayonnaise. Then I'm adding half a tablespoon of lemon juice. And salt and black pepper to taste. Stir it all up and now add three or two of those cloves of garlic. You can just squish them fine. This will add a beautiful roasted smoked garlic flavor. It's simple, but it makes your mayonnaise special. After around 30 minutes, you see the juices are running out. They developed a nice color and it's time to flip them. Now, they only take another 10 minutes or so and they're completely done. And in the last five minutes, it's time to add some good old Bamster cheese. When the burgers are done, it's time to get all the ingredients together. We are building up our bun. I got a beautiful sesame brioche bun. Put on that beautiful garlic mayonnaise that I created. Put on some rucola, then add pickles. And now it's time for a first burger. And a second burger. And a third burger. Because why not? I just love burgers. Now get some red onion on that and just a tiny drip of ketchup. Because it's still a burger. Cab on and your beautiful burger is done. Doesn't that look amazing? Beautiful smoke color. Juice is dripping out, cheese dripping out, ketchup dripping out. I just love this. 
If this doesn't look like a burger from an ad, I don't know, man. Marson, you just did it again. Look at this. I don't know which one I want to choose. You know, when you're young, you're looking at the McDonald's ads and you just dream of that perfect burger. You know, can I ever bite into that perfect burger? And this is pretty close. This is amazing. Crazy. It gets crazier every time. All right, let's go. <laughs> Three burgers. It's too beautiful, man. It's amazing. It's honestly so much better than I thought it would be. When I'm thinking about smoked meat, I'm thinking about brisket. Do I want a brisket as a burger with all that sauce? No. I think uh, this is a new favorite thing. If there's a barbecue burger, this is it with the smoke flavor. But this is not like a brisket. This is somehow with all that smoke flavor, still a light burger. Easy, 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 easy. You're gonna get your pee. I would never put barbecue sauce on this one. I like the thinness of the patties. It gives um, the burger actually more smoke flavor. It's so good. It's unbelievable. Wow. Okay, for this time, I know, I know you're hungry. You're hungry and everything. You get the half of my burger. Okay, here you go. Dog is happy, I'm happy. But to answer my question, I think we have to consult. We thought it was going to be, to be like that type of smoke. Mm -hmm. But because the patties are thin, you got all the all the flavors. It's still just a burger. Yeah. With, but it has smoke flavor. Exactly. But it has the consistency of, of a beef burger that you want. It's gone completely red of the smoke. It picked up a nice color. Mm. It even has a little bit of like crunchy outside, so, sort of. Exactly. Um, I like the firmness as well of the patties. Mm. Now, mm. here comes the hard part. Would I would I trade in that beautiful smash burger for this? Mm. Um, in, the big, in the beginning of the video, I already had my answer. Never. But now, I'm starting to... I'm, I'm conflicted. I'm really conflicted. Even Eva is conflicted. She's already back. Because smash burgers are like top tier. Top tier. But this is also top tier. If you have a pellet grill, if, if you have a pellet smoker, just go for it, man. This is... I've had grilled burgers before that can never get to this level. I hope to see you guys next time. I want to thank all the patrons and the YouTube members. I'm going to leave now and I go to, I don't know, somewhere there. Yep. So uh, uh, Eva is going to take your spot. There will be a video right here where the dog is at. And um, you can click on it. It's a new video. So uh, we hope to see you guys next time. Until then, eat smakelijk. And keep on grilling. That's right. You are a crazy dog. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot. This is still the most beautiful burger I've ever created.